It's national meets regional. It's sidewalks entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. Our guest today is a talented actress who has starred in such great projects as Troy, uh, Inglorious Bastards, and National Treasure 1 and 2, to name just a few. So I am very pleased to welcome Diane Kruger to Sidewalks. Hi. Hey, Diane. <laughs> so great to have you with us today on Sidewalks. Thank you. Great to be here. So I know that you are originally from West Germany. What was mm -hmm. life like growing up for you there? And was <laughs> acting always something you sort of wanted to do? Um, it was it was very um, uh, idyllic, I guess. I, I grew up in a very small village, right, uh, bordering a huge forest. So as kids, I guess, we were running around and building tree houses. So it was a very nice area of Germany. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, you grew up at a time in, in obviously in West Germany when there was so much going on in terms of sort of the Berlin Wall coming down that happened in the late 80s. And I know that you were a very young girl at the time. But mm -hmm. do you have memories of sort of that time and what that experience was like to live through it? Oh, yeah, 100 percent. Um, it was it was, in fact, I remember my my mom waking us up in the middle of the night because it happened, I guess, during during the night. And uh, you know, I remember just watching what was happening live on television. It was it was pretty intense. For sure. Well, it certainly was historic for Germany, no doubt. Mm. Um, so when you were kind of coming up through the ranks uh, and getting your acting chops, were there some actors that you really admired and, and that you looked up to? Who were, who were some of your role models? Uh, I, I, I don't come from a family um, of, of artists or actors, so I didn't really know that you could actually become an actor, like that would be an option. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. So I, I never thought that that would be possible for me. I started out dancing. Um, I was a ballet dancer for many years. Um, but I, I remember watching uh, Mary Poppins on screen for the first time and being blown away that da through dance and music uh, you could, you know, create such emotions. I remember being a kid and just so uh, blown away by, by the film. And so I think that was the first time I thought, wow, maybe I could do something like that as well. And then there's a German actress called Romy Schneider, who's very famous. She's dead now, but she was sort of my, my idol. And because of her, I actually went to France and studied acting in, in France because she that's what she did and I loved her French films. Well, you've really been successful thus far and of course we've got to talk about your FX TV series The Bridge. You play Sonia Cross, a El Paso police detective. For those that haven't seen this series, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Um, the bridge um, refers to the Bridge of the Americas set between um, Juarez and El Paso. And the show talks about all issues that arise um, on, on, in those border towns, whether it's corruption, drug trafficking, um, the missing girls of Juarez. So it's, it's a very timely show. It's pretty dark, but it's really riveting to see what goes on. Uh, this season in particular talks about the American involvement in all of that and who really profits from the drug money and the cartels. And so that's, it's, a, it's been a very interesting show to work on for me. So where do you guys actually shoot the show? We shoot most of it in Los Angeles, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what did you have to do to sort of prepare for this role? Did you, did you do any special training, uh, shadow anyone? Like how did, how did you sort of prepare for this type of role? Well, my character, Sonia Krause, has um, Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of autism. So that required a lot of preparation. I didn't know anything about what that means and how it impacts people. So that took a long time to figure out. Um, the police part of it, was a little bit easier. Uh, I mean, I'm not very good with 
guns, so that's an ongoing problem. <laughs> but I, I'm getting better, <laughs> especially not being American. You know, I think Europeans sort of have a natural aversion to guns in general. So, right. so that took right. that took some getting used to. But it's it's fun. You know, I get to be one of the boys. I'm very dressed down. And it's it's just been a really great opportunity for me to work in in, in the show. Right on. Well, let's talk briefly about Inglorious Bastards. That film was a Quentin Tarantino project and a massive success. When you were shooting that movie, was could you tell at the time that that there was something very special about it? Oh yeah. I mean, every time you make a Tarantino film, I think there is something special about it. He's just one of the most talented filmmakers out there. The script was incredible. Uh, taking such liberties with history I thought was really daring and I'm glad it paid off. Uh, but even while we were shooting it, it was just such a special time for everybody, certainly in my career, in my life. I just enjoyed every second of it. We had such a great time. We were shooting in Berlin and uh, you know, I have really great fo fond memories of, uh, of making it. Well, there are a lot of fan websites dedic dedicated to you. I don't know if you've ever been out to any of those. Do you, do you ever uh, troll around and just see kind of what the fans are talking about and questions <laughs> um, they might have? Not really anymore. I think it's one of the things you learn when you start out very quickly to not sort of engage that. It's a, it's a pretty slippery slope, you know, because it's obviously sure. not just positive um, and you I try to detach myself a little bit from, from what's going on in the internets. Do you remember the very first fan interaction that you had on the street when you were first recognized? That must have been a very strange scenario. Yeah, it's different with, with people that come up in the street. I, I really enjoy that part of what I do because it's just, A, it means that people are watching what you're doing, so that's great. Right. But, uh, you know, <laughs> usually um, people are very friendly. And it's always nice to hear that your work is enjoyed by people. So that's why I became an actor. And it's bizarre. You meet somebody you don't know, but yet you share this little moment, this little time that they spent with you, uh, whether it's in the movies or at home. So it's, it's really special. You know, I, I do love to speak to fans and, and people. Diane, it was such a pleasure to have you on the show today. I really wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.